So there are two different tracking modes. One is called Accurate 1.6, one is called Extremely Accurate. And Accurate is going to be pretty fast, so I'm just going to press Track All to give you an idea. This is 4K. Uh, this moves pretty quickly, so I'm just going to play this back, and you can see how it's done. Now, to be fair, this is a very, very easy shot because there's just so much detail in here. If I hide the mesh, um, you know, that's not hard to track. But sometimes you're going to have a shot that's more out of focus or with less detail, and you're going to want to use the extremely accurate mode. And just for example, I'll show you how fast that moves along. But it's definitely not as fast as our default mode. So what is tracking scale? This is roughly a distance in pixels, how far each point is going to look to try to find a match. The higher it is, the slower it is. I would recommend not going too much above 25 pixels. Probably the most important control is this one down here, tracking target resolution. In short, we run a low res process to find the general motion of the shot. When comparing 4K to 540p, 540p is usually plenty to see and understand general motion. After that, we run a much faster shallow search process to find exact pixel accuracy. You can see close up, we still have precise pixel matching. The takeaway here is that you probably want to be working in 540p at all times. Maybe very occasionally if you're using the accurate 1.6 mode, it might make sense to go up to 1080p. I've never in my own time working with this seen a reason to go to 4K or to go to full resolution for anything higher than that. I could also say the same, you probably might not want to go down to 270p because once the resolution gets that low, you might be missing some details.